Hello and welcome. You're with the news today. Your prime time destination. News, newsmakers, talking points. And we have plenty to talk about tonight on another major news day. We'll be bringing you the inside track on the CBI's probe into the rape and murder in the Kolkata government hospital. Also, the Supreme Court has appealed to doctors to return to work. We'll get their reactions and we'll tell you what's happened in Badlapur in Maharashtra. The latest update on that. Plenty on the show tonight. But let's give you the breaking news this evening. CBI has got a court not now for a lie detector test to be conducted on the rape accused Sanjoy Roy as well as the ex-RG car hospital principal Dr. Ghosh and four interns who will undergo this lie detector test. The inside track of the probe is now with India Today and sources have told India Today that the DNA on the victim has matched with the accused Sanjay Roy. Sources say the involvement of more accused not ruled out but principally the accused is believed to be Sanjay Roy. The DNA on the victim has matched with the accused. Munish Pandey joins us at the moment. Munish. You track the CBI. The CBI is saying it's not a gang rape, that there was only one person who did it, or are they not ruling out the possibility of more accused? Well, Rasbi, at this point of time, what we have been given to understand by our sources within the Central Bureau of Investigation is that uh, so far the investigation indicates that there was involvement of one person, and that is why it is the case of rape and murder. It's not case of gang rape. Why are they saying so? Uh, they have gone through three. basic principles of investigation the first one is examination of forensic reports the forensic experts of central bureau of investigation have gone through all the evidence collected by the cbi and kolkata police and so far they have been able to confirm that indeed the rape and murder was committed by the prime accused sanjay roy and dna has also matched the second is cctv footage which is very critical the cbi has gone through the entire day cctv footage of the incident but uh, during the period of uh, crime just before that and after that there is only one entry and exit and that is of sanjay roy the third one is based on the autopsy report they believe that it was an act by one person and that is sanjay roy but again cbi will be sending this forensic report to another independent experts maybe doc- a panel of doctors right. in aims to find out whether it was a case of rape or gang rape but so far sources are indicating it is a case of uh, uh, rape but also cbi is now focusing their investigation on the part of lapses which was uh, by mr uh, uh, sandeep ghosh who was then the principal of rjkar medical college and also the four other colleagues of uh, you know uh, uh, mr ghosh who are under scanner of so the why the polygraph test will take place on sanjoy roy it will take place on dr ghosh and some interns absolutely uh, you know uh, ras you know why dr sanjay uh, dr sandeep ghosh is important at this point of time there are three basic allegations against mr sandeep ghosh who was then the principal the first one when the incident was reported to him he was not very sensitive according to cbi sources the second part is he is a principal of a medical college he was well aware of the protocol which has to be maintained in any homicide case but even then he not only allowed the crime scene to be compromised but also he um, allegedly you know even altered the crime scene these are the grave allegations against uh, uh, dr uh, sandeep ghosh and why polygraph test on all these five individuals cbi has been recording their statements from last 7 days but one they have not been able to give consistent answer to some of the question right. the cbi also suspect that they are not disclosing the whole truth about the events which unfolded on that particular day and the cbi also suspect that dr sandeep ghosh especially is hiding few of the things as far as his connection with uh, right. the prime accused sanjay roy is concerned and also about the incident okay munish pandey joining us uh, appears as of now cbi claiming it's a case as per sources of rape not of gang rape but they will continue to question the role of the hospital principal ex principal as well as certain others on the site and they will undergo a lie detector test the court has got cbi has got the court not for that
Now, all of this coming on a day when the Supreme Court today took up the status reports filed by the CBI and the Kolkata police in the rape and murder case. The court has urged doctors also to end their strike and directed the government to ensure their safety. The hearing saw sharp exchanges between the solicitor general Tushar Mehta and Bengal's government's lawyer Kapil Sibal. At one point, the CJI had to step in, ask the two sides not to play politics over the murder. Take a look. Crime scene was altered. FIR was lodged only after cremation. No case details given to CBI. There were some of the scathing charges made by the CBI in the Supreme Court in the Kolkata rape and murder case. Submitting a status report in the top court, CBI lashed out at the Bengal government, alleging a cover-up. Was our difficulty was we entered on the fifth day, uh, and thereafter, before that, whatever was collected by the local police, we were given, and our investigation starts. That is itself a challenge by itself, because the scene of offence is altered. The central agency further revealed that FIR was lodged after the cremation and the family was earlier misled by saying that it is a suicide. FIR is registered after cremation at 11.45 night. The First, the, the, uh, the parents are informed that she is not well by the deputy superintendent. When they reach, they say that she, is, she has committed a suicide. They insisted Who that said? we want videography, we want this. No, this is suggestive that even they were suspecting some cover-up. The Supreme Court for the second time tore into the West Bengal government, expressing deep concern. The apex court made scathing observations. Pulling up the Mamta government and state police, court questioned the timeline of the post-mortem and the registration of the crime as an unnatural death. Supreme Court bench observed that there was delay in registering a natural death case and lodging an FIR in that matter. Supreme Court further questioned why was the crime scene cordoned off only after post-mortem. This is something which even the criminal procedure code doesn't prescribe. Yes, exactly. The entire procedure yes. which has been uh, followed by your police, yes. police of the state, it is something which at least I have not come across. Yes. In 30 years of my... I know. <laughs> we have a statement of a sitting minister of the state of West Bengal oh. saying that, no, not all, that, that's something very serious. Heated exchanges were also witnessed in the Supreme Court between Solicitor General and the Bengal Government Council, Kapil Sibyl. So-and-so was found lying in unconscious state at so-and-so medicine department of third floor of emergency building in so-and-so, according to informed, uh, sector 92OC and under his order, leading PS with Lady Police. So this is not general diary entry. <laughs> what is? That is what DD is. That not somebody is. has lost that the life. According to the Don't rules, at least laugh. Yeah. One second. According to the rules laugh. that we follow, a girl has these regulations we've done in accordance. In Meanwhile, the CJ also directed Bengal government to not take action against peaceful protests. What we would also expect Yes. Please don't politicize. Exactly. exactly. So, Bindu, so Bindu has said it bullets will be fired. This so across the I political could. spectrum, yes. parties, have, parties have to realize, yes. don't politicize. That's exactly. Right. Right. exactly. No, the no, law will take its course. Yes. The fact. law will take its course and we are ensuring that the law does take, him, uh, yes. take its course after a quick and efficient investigation. Deeply obliged. As protests continue across the country, the CGI appealed to doctors to end their strike. A 10-member national task force will now formulate a national protocol to ensure the safety and facilities of doctors. The CGI said that it won't justify the belated registration of the FIR at 11.30 p.m. despite the body being discovered in the morning itself. CGI also questioned the role of the principal of the hospital. With camera person Inamil from New Delhi, this is Kanu Sarda for India Today. So what next now in this murder probe? Do the police have a lot to answer for? Or will politics end up derailing this justice campaign? And of course, we will also be talking to doctors and ask the question, is it time for them to rejoin work? First, let's look at what happened in the court today. I'm joined by Yashovardhan Azad, former IPS, and also Karuna Nandis, senior advocate. She appeared in the Supreme Court today. 
I appreciate both of you joining us. Karuna Nandi, the court seems to have today sent out a clear message that they do not want politics to be played in this case and they want the case to proceed according to the rules and procedures. What's your sense? What's your biggest takeaway today from what happened in court? I think the court uh, today has really provided a healing touch because when, uh, you know, the anger and the upset of thousands of doctors uh, and our joint forum actually comprises of about, you know, over 25,000 doctors and they are affiliated to all political stripes. Um, many of them are otherwise supporters of the TMC as well. So the thing is that the kind of upset and outrage and very, very personal anguish that um, quite naturally came from this murder, uh, rape and murder, um, meant that they found it very difficult also to feel safe at work. We must remember that. So today the court was, went into great detail, as your reporters have uh, you know, re reported very well. They went into great detail into the reports. They uh, made it clear that this is not a political issue, that this is the matter of the rule of law, and this is a matter of somebody losing her life while she was on duty. Um, this also dovetails into what the court has done with regard to setting up a task force. Now, let us not forget that that task force uh, is mandated to look into women's right to work, you know, and doctors' conditions um, in this regard. So, uh, and it's a very broad mandate and um, suggestions have been invited uh, by you know, everyone who has a stake in this, all stakeholders, just like the Verma Committee actually, uh, that, you know, that looked at, I think, over 88,000 recommendations and then came up with that fun, fantastic path-breaking right. report. This, this task force is comprised of doctors and it is going to, um, it is going to propose deep structural reforms that we hope means that something like this will never happen again. Okay, so that's, that of course is what the court wants from the, from the doctors in terms of proposing this task force. But Yashobardhan Azad, to the case itself, today the court made it very clear, we will not go by what social media says. There are lots of allegations that have, uh, that have been put out in the social media realm. We've got, as Munish Pandey reports, the CBI suggesting it's not a case of gang rape, it's a case of rape. They're now looking at why the FIR was delayed, why uh, the, uh, the unnatural death report, there are contrary versions as to when exactly it was done. Kapil Sibal said at 10 in the morning, there was another report that said it happened later in the evening. These specifics, how important are they? Is the case now about first identifying the rapist, Sanjoy Roy, allegedly, or is it about going through the timeline of alleged lapses by the hospital authorities in particular and possibly by the local police? Well, Rajdeep, there are two distinct parts to this issue, as, as uh, uh, you're trying to point out. First is the investigation per se. And I would say that the most important thing is to carry on the investigation. I'm glad that many of the rumors which are being spread on the social media have not been attended to or listened to. There were lots of them. And now CBI is taking over the investigation. The accused has already been caught. And uh, it was caught by the Calcutta police within two days. And now the CBI is going further by taking the polygraph test. That's all well done. The second thing which I have not understood is how the crime scene was altered or who altered it. But the other part, as far as the lapses go, I think the most important part, I'll just clarify in a minute, is that when you have a body, there's a, for example, there is a, there's a body lying on the road and you're not able to um, uh, you know, find out as to what exactly happened to this body, you register a case of a natural death. It's called a Mark Panchnama is done. And then thereafter, you do the investigation and then check out what has happened. In this particular case, Rajdeep, it was fairly evident 
for any police officer who would have gone there that this is a case of a cognizable crime. And therefore, the Supreme Court has said that the FIR is delayed. For example, if you see a bullet injury guy lying dead on the road, you don't uh, you know, register an unnatural death. You register a case of murder immediately. And that is why this point will hurt Calcutta police. I think the police commissioner should be held responsible for this. As far as the lapses go, it was sacrilege on the part of the uh, principal of the college to make it look like suicide, and therefore his actions have been have been a kind of sus suspect. Mind you, Rajdeep, this is a so. What case can they be charged with? Can they be charged with cover up? What the hospital uh, ex principal in particular? The Kolkata police today gave a timeline, minute by minute, of what happened on the nine. So they seem to have given their details. But the role of hospital of Dr. Ghosh in allegedly telling uh, through possibly some junior that it was a suicide reports as the CBI suggested that when they came five days later, the scene had been altered. Who takes responsibility? Where does the buck stop? There are two or three things uh, on which he'll be questioned very seriously as to when did he get the information about the crime? And when did the report went, uh, go to the police? That's extremely important if you're delaying uh, the time for, for lodging an FIR. Number two is whether he had any uh, role in, in, uh, uh, in altering the crime scene. Uh, and third, whether there was any role of his in trying to you know, shift evidence or trying to influence people so some kind of you know interfering with the evidence on ground and that is why they are going through a polygraph test uh, on him but i think that there's another person also who should be caught in this mm -hmm. and that should be the in charge of security it always some administrator or a professor his role should also be tapped because his was the most important role in informing the police and lodging, getting the FIR laws. So these are important things which the Calcutta police would look into. And the conflicting statements of the four interns uh, who are also going to be examined under the polygraph test to find out. So the two parts, one is the investigation which will be going ahead. And second, the lapses, whether they are to be taken as a kind of culpability in the crime itself. Karuna Nandi, therefore, given the fact that now the case focus shifts to the investigation and the lapses, if any, on part of the Kolkata police and the hospital authorities, where does this leave uh, what your petitioners who were uh, the doctors themselves, their concerns, do they still remain on, on the table? Will you continue to monitor those? So there are, um, what was placed before the court today were two sets of investigations. One is into the um, rape and murder itself. The other is into the, um, which the Kolkata police is um, carrying out at the moment, I think, um, the vandalism, where thousands of goons broke into the hospital and vandalized the place, mm -hmm. right? So there's that. Then there is, a, we, we placed before the court a third investigation, a third SIT that the uh, West Bengal government has set up to look at financial irregularities. And um, the financial irregularities in the hospital, including very much of Dr. Shundeep Ghosh. Mm -hmm. um, we also told the court that the, uh, for example, Dr. Shondeep Ghosh is alleged to have hired CCTV cameras for a huge amount instead of buying them. And if he had bought them, then perhaps they would have acted as a deterrent or they would have, uh, you know, been helpful in determining what exactly happened. So that is something that we will place before the court on the next occasion with documents, etc. So these are the three things before the court. Okay. Now, the reason that, look, the court has been very clear in saying that they very much want to overhaul the system in order to make it workable, livable, um, decent, decent work mm -hmm. for doctors and primarily for women doctors, right? So that trust, I think, 
uh, that the doctors have in the, the court and the way the, uh, in which this case is being handled will show on the ground. And the court is therefore saying that, look, um, no coercive has protected us from our doctors from coercive, and all doctors from coercive action until the order was published. The order came out today. And they're saying that, uh, quite reasonably in my opinion, uh, and in our doctor's opinion, that, um, look, there are uh, patients waiting and we understand the difficulties you have gone through and why you needed to express this outrage and upset and hold uh, the state uh, to account. By the state, I mean everybody, really, uh, not just the state government. And, uh, but from, and then no coercive action will be taken with regard to the protests and not being at work so far. But then right. now he has requested that the doctors uh, get back to work. Okay. Let me leave it there. Uh, uh, Yeshwardhan Azad, therefore... You, are, you know, you're seeing some of the flashes, the chief minister of Bengal saying the trial must conclude in 15 days, the BJP lashing out at her, saying that uh, the chief minister is the one who has much to answer for. Is there a fear that the politics will take over the hard investigation? Even today in court, the ju chief justice had to intervene between Tushar Mehta and Kapil Sibal and say, look, no politics here, or one side telling the other that you are muddying the waters, others saying, we're trying to remove the mud, the politics. How much of it affects the investigation by the CBI? Well, uh, two points here. First is that the investigation will go on. It will not be impacted by any kind of politics because the investigation line is pretty clear now. Uh, the guy has been caught. Uh, it does not, I even said yesterday, that doesn't look like a case of gang rape. And therefore, the investigation will not be impacted. But I think the biggest danger of the fallout of this incident is that people's faith have completely gone, completely destroyed in the case of politicians and the institutions. And I have a feeling that such cases will regularly be coming up before the Supreme Court. I think in this particular case also, Rajdeep, there's one important thing in the National Task Force, and I would also appeal to Karna Nandiji, that there should have been a professional security expert as an ex-official member, say, for example, Director General CISF, who's been asked also to protect these institutions, because it's very important that the institution heads should be given the full responsibility for the protection of this. And one last point, that... See, this was not about a generally unsafe environment. This was an attack by a rogue, an inside element, like it happened in the case of school, the janitor. Therefore, it is incumbent upon the heads of the institution to ensure the safety and security standards. Right. And therefore, appointment of the right people and going through the right drills. These are two very, very important things. Okay. I think beyond the Supreme Court has already done its job. I don't think let, there is... Let me leave it there, that. Mr. Azad. Let me leave it there because I want to go and meet the doctors. Now, I appreciate Karna Nandi, Yashwardhan Azad joining us. What happened in the court? Now, after 11 days, the doctors in Delhi end their strike uh, in several parts of the country over the Kolkata rape and murder horror. Resident Doctors Association at Ames, RML, Lady Harding in Delhi ended their strike in other parts too. Uh, strikes are ending, but not in Kolkata itself and not at the RG Car Hospital in particular. The doctors have claimed that emergency services at the hospital remain unaffected. Joining me at this moment is Dr. Kunal Sarkar, Senior Vice Chairman, Director and Head of Cardiac Surgery at Medical Super Specialty Hospital Kolkata. He's been one of those who's been raising his voice against the way the government has handled this case. Dr. Manish Jangra is Founder and Chief Advisor of FIMA which is uh, the Association for Resident Doctors. And I'm also joined by a doctor at RG Car Hospital who doesn't want to come on camera. He will only speak on audio. Can I first uh, come to my guest from RG Car Hospital to ask, ask you, why have you decided to continue with your protests given the fact that the Supreme Court has asked you to call them off? Uh, yes, we are going to continue our protests because uh, none of our demands have been met. The first demand that we have had since day one is justice. So not all the culprits, all the culprits have been arrested. They have not been as, uh, given any punishment. We have no idea how far the investigation has proceeded. So far, so now. 
and of course we have not uh, received any apology any apology by the authority concerned under whose surveillance this crime happened even the vandalism that had happened we have uh, received no apology and despite that there has been some resignations of the posts mm -hmm. yet yet we, in one of our demands were that there should be no assignment of any administrative and authoritative posts in the future of their service but this has not happened and still now our safety is in question as how do we know that if we go back to our work are we going to be still safe can we give night shifts what if those goons those 7000 goons who had attacked us are they not going to come back at us or whoever is in the supreme power of this major crime are not going to get at us okay i want to come from there to you dr kunal sarkar you just heard this young doctor saying look they have they are still not sure of their safety their security they will carry on with their protest they are still not sure justice has been done as we are reporting today the cbi seems to indicate that the kolkata police has caught the right person sanjoy roy was indeed the rapist in this case as per our sources do you believe that that's enough to believe that justice has been done what according to you will define justice in this case rajdeep it's a bit comforting that you emphasize on this point but apart from your sources uh, people have heard the lengthy uh, live streaming of the supreme court with the many many queries raised and questions asked but i think on the sort of official channels there has not been any corroborations yet the second point which is very important to appreciate is you know the students of arjikor has actually wounded the deepest they carry the deepest wounds from all this episode and what is actually adding insult to their injury is for the good part of almost say ever since the 9th of august this big institution has really not had any stable administration at all the you know what's coming of the ex principal mm -hmm. the replacement principal have been changed every few days you have a musical chairs of administrators so these aggrieved students really just appreciate the perspective they have really not even had a couple of empathetic responsible senior administrators professors whoever to talk to they are really in an orphan state of affairs over there as far as the overall academic administration is concerned and what is further complicating the situation in west bengal is that every other day there is a huge list of academic practical misdeeds corruptions a list which is coming from within the medical fraternity which is really adding to the students ire how things are going wrong in conducting of the exams there is a endless list of corruptions to do with favors giving marks and this is all happening within the medical community and to some extent it is happening within the larger trinomul community so i think it will take a little bit more time for the dust to settle from the general perspective there is no doubt about the fact that you know bengal relies very heavily on government hospitals more so than any other uh, big states of india mm -hmm. so from the people's perspective no two words about the fact that these youngsters need to resume their duties but they need to be consoled given the confidence they need to be comforted and any measure of stability in the in the overall healthcare administration in bengal is sadly missing the sooner the government gets its act together the better will it be so i believe give it a few more days i think they will calm down with some kind of conclusion being arrived closure being arrived in this case mm -hmm. and we feel as much as you do or anyone else that we really need to resume normal normality in the hospitals because needless to say thousands are being affected i'll come back to you in a moment dr sarkar i just want to understand from you dr mani jangra you of uh, leading this protest in different parts of the country now that the supreme court has given certain assurances has asked you to return to work are all of you returning to work or are resident doctors in certain parts still going to stay away 
sir uh, first of all i would like to thanks rajdeep sardesai sir for inviting me to the show and i would like to personally say one thing rajdeep sardesai sir always supported the resident doctors every time i contacted sir personally and sir always tweeted about our issues and always shared those things thank you so much sir no, that is because now, my I son is like... a res- uh, my son has been a resident doctor i know the problems yeah, that know, you Dr. have Ishan, sir, but but I beyond that i want to understand from you have you all decided now to call off the strike is that an all india decision yes sir basically our organization today has a meeting at 3 pm after the supreme court verdict the meeting continued for 3 hours and at last it was concluded after the majority stakeholders it was decided that strike should be called off because uh, there was some different opinion also some resistance was also there from some states like uh, maharashtra states was meeting with the cm on the behalf of mard association mm-hmm. uh, they are the, also the part of the fima and in every state they were meeting their health minister and uh, their chief minister so basically at last it was decided that supreme court has directed the cbi obviously it is monitoring the cbi but have you got supreme any assurances from the health ministry Uh, sir, uh, till now we uh, basically has it uh, has got a notice after the Supreme Court has intervened it, and they have ordered the Health Ministry. Uh, they have created this national task force after the Supreme Court uh, advice or uh, order. Right. And I would like to uh, tell one thing uh, to you, sir. When the Supreme Court has uh, directed the uh, state governments. and dgp after the fima uh, was the party in the supreme court today on the behalf of the advocate tanvi dubey was there to represent the fima and dr rishiraj sina presented there uh, right. as a, our member of the fima and the supreme court after hearing our plea uh, he directed all the states and dgp to he has given the two weeks to them to protect the interim protection to the every doctors working in every state and supreme court has asked for two weeks review in this form ki whether they are forming any committee or whether what they are actually doing to protect as interim protection to the so you are saying you will get so in- we are happy on this part and regarding the cbi case the already we protested in the delhi when we protested in the delhi the government was forced to give the case to the basically supreme court directed the case to the cbi because a huge pressure was there from the delhi resident doctors under our organization Okay. so we are happy I, that cbi is doing Manish, its uh, duty and it is under monitoring by the supreme court so Manish, we I are run out, i'm running out of time because i just want to get in dr sarkar for a final word you know dr sarkar we seem to be in a situation where where will accountability be fixed you spoken about the complete mess in the medical system at the moment uh, particularly in in bengal this incident highlighting it both at the government level as well as the hospital level how do you how would you like to see accountability fixed is it with the where does the buck stop look rajdeep we cannot change the past and rather than you know be even before yes accountability has to be fixed but before that we have to have a semblance of some systematic management in the west bengal health system because they are at the receiving end of the angst and the ire of the commute students community the people at large every second day their minds get changed their orders get altered so really you know under somebody like our chief minister mamta banerji who's also the health minister they will have to bear weather the storm they will have to stand firm give stability to the healthcare administration and then you know as happens always after any disaster natural mm-hmm. or man made that things will take a little bit of time to fall its place but at this point of time things are too disheveled things are too at too too much in sixes and sevens for us to expect because say in arjikar itself i believe something like 50 to 75 students and interns have already packed their bags and left the city there is so much of you know instability in the system so they need to be comforted they need to be consoled they need to have somebody supervising them supervising them and their college and once we have that i am sure that sense their 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 anger will die down some conclusion will be reached and we are as eager as anyone else to resume normality in the health services let me leave it there i've heard various voices accountability surely is where you start the process of healing and bridging the divide that today exists between the angry students and citizens on one side and the state and hospital authorities on the other thank you all very much to my guests for joining me now india today spoke to the parents of uh, 
Abhaya, as she's been called for the first time. They allege a cover-up bid by the RG car hospital and remain, not surprisingly, emotional about having gone through the trauma of the last week. Listen in. অনেক শক্ত আপনারা গত কয়েক দিন ধরে এখানে আমি আছি দেখছি বাকি যারা অভয়ার মতো তারা যারা রাস্তায় আমরা আজকে প্রত্যেক দিন ফিরছি পুলিশ তো রয়েইছে কোথাও কি মনে হয় যে আমরা মনুষ্যত্বটা আস্তে আস্তে হারিয়ে ফেলছি কাউকে ভরসা করতে পারছি না এরকম কি কোথাও আজকে মনে হচ্ছে আপনাদের এখন তো মনে হচ্ছে একমাত্র মেয়েকে হারিয়ে সে একটা এত সেফ জায়গায় সে ছিল সেখানেই তার সাথে এরকম ঘটনা ঘটেছে এবার আপনারা যারা রাস্তায় কাজ করছেন তাদের আমার ভয় হচ্ছে সেফ নয় মনে হচ্ছে আমার কোনো বার্তা দিতে চান কি আমাদের মধ্যে দিয়ে আমরা তো যে বার্তা দেওয়া দিলাম প্রশাসনকে এটাই বার্তা দিচ্ছি যাদের সবাইকে সুরক্ষা দেওয়ার চেষ্টা তো প্রশাসনে করা উচিত সেটা করুক তাহলে সবারই দেশের ভালো হবে সবার নাগরিক সুষ্ঠুভাবে সমাজকে মেয়েরা যদি আজকে এগিয়ে না আসে আজকে সমাজের একটা প্রায় পঞ্চাশ শতাংশ মেয়েরাই convulsed Maharashtra, the shocking rape of two toddlers in a Maharashtra school two weeks ago that has also sent shockwaves across the nation. Amidst the growing outrage today, the Bombay High Court stepped in, flayed the Badlapur police for delayed action in the probe. But glaring lapses are emerging with the victim's family claiming they were misled by the school authorities. All details in this report. Toddlers raped at school and no one helped. The Badlapur horror has sent shock waves across the nation. The Bombay High Court, which took up the case Suomoto, made some scathing remarks on the school authorities and police. The court said that school failed to report the crime to police. The court reprimanded the Badlapur police for taking the case lightly and failing to record the victim statements on time. The court also noted that it was only after significant public outcry and widespread protests that an SIT was formed to investigate the case. Angry protests by citizens have forced the Maharashtra government to take further action. Chief Minister Ekna Shinde has appointed Ujwal Nikam, the prosecutor in 2611 Mumbai terror attack case, to lead the prosecution. The opposition has questioned the appointment, alleging conflict of interest as Nikam is a BJP leader now. The R.P. Singh is the IPS officer, we have a doubt about it. And the government has given the fast track court to the government, which is the Nikam, he is already doing the work of the BJP. So that's why we should change the two and we should get the Bhumi. Nikam dismissed the accusations. पब्लिक प्रोसिक्यूटर की मेरी जो नियुक्ति हो गई वो वहां के कल के आंदोलन कर प्रदर्शनकारी ने मांग की थी इसलिए गिरीश महाजन ने कहा था डिप्टी चीफ मिनिस्टर को और होम मिनिस्टर ने फिर बिना पर तो जांच एजेंसी को क्या कौन रिस्पांसिबल है वो देखना होता है पब्लिक प्रोसेस थोड़ी जांच करता है पब्लिक प्रोसेस का रोल तो चार्जशीट दर्ज होने के बाद the opposition is questioning the link of BJP leaders to the school where the crime took place. Two trustees of Adarsh Vidya Mandir School, Nandakishwar Patkar and Tushar Apte are the members of the BJP. Tushar Apte is the secretary of the trust that runs the school. India today tried to get their reactions but they did not respond. As the fight for justice for two children continues, accused janitor Akshay Shinde is in police custody till 26th August. Bureau Report, India Today. So why did the local police delay the Badlapur probe? Who tried to shield the rape suspect? Was there political pressure on the police? Joining me now, Clyde Crasto, National Spokesperson, NCP Sharad Pawar Faction. Dr. Manisha Kayande is Spokesperson of the Shiv Sena. Appreciate both of you joining us on the show tonight. Manisha Kayande, to you first. What is coming out yes. increasingly is that there seems to have been an attempt made by the local police somewhere to protect the culprits. It took days, 
for the probe to actually take off, which is what expresses some believe the outrage that has followed. Are you willing to concede that the local police tried to protect or shield some of the accused as is being alleged? Rajdeep, I hope you will allow me to speak without interrupting me. And uh, to begin with, of course, nobody would agree. You know, whatever has happened is absolutely bad, very shocking, very painful, and very shameful. I mean, uh, had those people who were at the helm of affairs acted on time, this whole thing could have been avoided and justice would have been delivered early to the toddlers. Now, this sexual assault was in the beginning not mm -hmm. taken seriously, probably by the school authorities who reported late. When they came to the police station, there were members of the Child Rights Committee with the parents and the police delayed it. Of course, this all, the police, the concerned police officers have been suspended immediately. The school authorities, the principal and two teachers have also been suspended. Now, the uh, school has an administrator. The government is controlling the school so that nobody interferes with the probe. Nobody tries to fiddle with any of the evidences. Mm -hmm. Now, second, uh, this, is, this was very bad. I mean, I can understand the toddler who refused to go to the school and this car would remain on the minds of the two toddlers for the lifetime. And this is the most painful so part So you are accepting, you are accepting now, that there was a delay, you are, you are accepting there was a delay in the probe at the local level by the local police. You are saying the police have been suspended the moment this came to the notice of the government. And now the Absolutely. Child Rights Act, and the, uh, the Child Rights Commission FIT has, has intervened. Formed. I, Clyde Crasto, you want to respond to what you are hearing from Dr. Manisha Kayande because the opposition has now called for a Maharashtra ban and the charge will be you are pol <laughs> politicizing the issue. That you are blaming the Shinde government for what prima facie seems to be a clear negligence on the part, deliberate or otherwise, of the police on the ground in Badlapur. Why, how will a ban no, resolve anything? Or is this politics Shira, before the Maharashtra elections? See, Rajiv, you can call it politics. You can say what that we've been playing by the fire. Can you hear me, Rajiv? Yes, yes. Yeah. The fact of the matter. The fact of the matter is, I'm happy that you know, uh, the, uh, Dr. Manisha Khan has accepted that you know that this, the the police have failed here to register a case. And you know, yes, the point here is I very simple. There have been lapses. That's why I said. Yeah. Go ahead. No, can we? Uh, did I talk when you were talking? I did not talk. So why don't you just hear me out, please? Okay. okay, I'm keeping quiet when you're... I yeah, just so wanted just keep to correct quiet. you Yeah, okay, go ahead, please. No, so don't correct me. You're not here to correct me. Please keep quiet. I'm yes, talking I'm to you. No, 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 you know, we'll waste time. Clyde Prasto, please go ahead. So tell her not to waste time. No, just Adi. please so go ahead. My point now. is very simple. Yeah, my point is very simple. That the, the, the home department has failed and the fingers are pointing to the fact that the BJP leaders are involved in that school. That's as simple as that. To protect them, there was some instruction given to that lady officer to delay the uh, registration of the FIR. That's as simple as that. Now, we have spoken about all this. Everything has been spoken. You are speaking. I have been fine. But I want to bring to light a very important fact that I've been saying it for some time now. That four years ago, in 2020, the Shakti Act was passed by both houses of the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly. It's been four years. It is waiting for an assent from the Honorable President of India. In the, in the state, in Maharashtra, there's a BJP-led government. In the center, there's a BJP-led government. Why are they waiting? Why can't this law be passed? This law is so stringent that it will put fear in the minds of the okay. sick people who are committing this heinous crime. So no, Raji, hear me out. This, this law act is very, very important. This act says that you finish the probe in 15 days. The case has to be wound up in 30 days. You know, there are stringent provisions of death penalty when there's a case like this. So why is the BJP government? Okay, you, law. can I just for a moment come back to Manisha Kayande because Manisha Kayande, it's not so simple what's happened in Badlapur because in this instance, the school authorities are being linked to the BJP, that the local authorities there include members of, your, of the BJP and the fact is that the school authorities are the ones who delayed in initially reporting these instances to the police. So, it is not as if the likes of Tushar Apte and all can also be divorced from your party. The question therefore arises, 
was there political pressure at the ground level to let the school authorities off lightly well i have the list of the school committee members about 11 members are there they belong to different parties some have migrated from one party to another some have left their previous party and gone to some other party so they are uh, the uh, when a, when a school is formed when the trustees are appointed they come from different political parties or they come from representing different ngos so but if you go through the list there was they are political pressure the suspicion is that until, until the unrest took place two days ago the maharashtra government was trying to sweep this under the carpet rajdeep well, this sit has been formed rajdeep we will come to a conclusion when the sit report is out so let the sit probe now somebody from the opposition was saying why the an sit so if you don't trust a junior officer that's why a senior officer has been appointed and an sit has been formed to so that the probe is very very stringent and okay. nobody is pardoned so okay. hence uh, an sit has been you know, formed Clyde, Clyde and Crasto, whatever right crasto you I mentioned know, that you would have liked to see the implementation of the shakti act but on this case itself okay ma'am on this case itself what more could the maharashtra government now do that requires you to go for a ban well now now let him respond no let him respond ma'am rajdeep you know rajdeep go ahead clyde rajdeep you know can i talk now please yes please the, the... the shiv sena spokesperson member said there are people from 11, 11 members from different parties all of them have to be pulled up doesn't matter which party they belong to who cares which party they belong to this is a hill the question that, was asked that, that is come on radhi i think you know you better no, no, please go ahead mr krishna don't worry about what she has to say we will block her you you respond no, why listen i am not worried why she interjecting radhi at least stop her off i am why? asking you what why purpose is your ban going to serve on saturday okay. See, if they are not going to listen, then we have to do, put our foot down. That's why we have to do these things. But why, when I'm talking about something, you are diverting the topic. Listen to what I'm saying. No, I'm talking important things also, and I've been interjected. So you also learn to listen. The fact is, you know, why the principal, the trustees, everybody being used to be pulled up. What cause of male attendance doing there with, with girl children in that school? We have all gone through school. There has to be a lady attendant. These questions need to be asked. And then you are protecting all these people, and they say. the people from 11 different parties arrest all of them which of party they belong to how can we even justify this okay the point here is point here is everybody involved in this has to be questioned the government has failed the home ministry has failed the home minister has failed that's what the point is why can't we will talk about that okay let me leave it there the fact is that this will continue to bubble over and again like in kolkata what is needed is fixing of accountability unless accountability is fixed in a transparent manner in a time bound manner whether it is west bengal or whether it is in maharashtra or any part of the country that is the very minimum that we the citizen should expect i want to say this with all emphasis irrespective let me underline this irrespective of whoever is in power in any state of the country when crimes against women of this kind are committed the least the public can expect is a clear fixing of accountability at all levels and if there is any cover up or any attempt made to try and ensure that justice is not done then citizens have every right to protest and demand justice above all else that i believe should be the focus of any government that truly is responsive and accountable to we the people of this country think about it let's stop playing politics and let's focus on justice above all else thanks for watching stay well stay safe jai hind namaskar